GCSE Biology Syllabus Statement 4.3 using quadrats as a technique for sampling the distribution of organisms in their habitat. So we have a habitat here which is sand dunes and we're going to use the quadrat technique to sample the population of daisies. Let's take the daisy in this area here. So our sample has to be random so that there's no bias introduced and the second part of our sample is that it has to be representative so we have to take a sample large enough that our estimate of the population is as close to the true population as possible. Let's take a look at that technique. If we represent the sample area with a plan view like a map then we could draw a square like this Oops, never mind, that'll do. So that's our view of the field here. And what we would do is we would set up a grid system across the field like this. And the grid system is going to work very much like the XY coordinates on a graph that you would draw. Oops, so this is a bit rough, but I think it gets the idea across. So, with should be zero here, one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the grids are supposed to be equal sizes, but for the drawing. And now we need to place our quadrat, we'll draw the quadrat in red, into the squares for which we will need some random numbers. Now random numbers can be generated online or from tables. And the use of the random numbers is to generate a number for the x coordinate and a number for the y coordinate that will tell us where to take our sample from. So let's assume that we've found our random numbers and we've generated the number uh, 3, 3. So our grid should be placed, so we 1, 2, 3, up, 1, 2, 3. Our quadrat would be placed here. And let's work on the assumption that each quadrat is one by one meter, one meter squared, and now we count the number of daisies in that square. We need a representative sample. And ideally, the bigger, the better. Certainly, we should be looking for 10 quadrats. But about 10% of the actual area would be even more appropriate. As we collect our data, we will tabulate this. to generate the columns. The quadrat number here and the number of daisies per meter square was introduced into here and having completed this exercise what we would do is we would add up this column here so we would add up this column and then divide by 
the number of quadrants and this would give us a value which is the number of daisies per meter square. Using this technique we can estimate the population of daisies in the field above but we can also use this technique to compare the number of daisies in perhaps two different areas or three different areas or as many as you wish.